Hello and welcome back. My name is David Breslow. I am the founder of Performance Success Strategies and the creator of Wired to Win, the most comprehensive mental game program on the market today. So stay tuned for today's mental game tip. I'll be back in a moment. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the phrase mental game. <clears throat> Excuse me. You've already heard, heard me use it a couple times in the introduction. And uh, it's a really interesting phrase, in my opinion. For the longest time, people have been talking about a mental game in the game of golf, in the game of tennis, in sports in general, even in business and life. The, the phrase mental game seems to be the most commonly accepted phrase out there in the world. I generally don't like to use it because I think it's too confining. And today I want to talk to you about something that will hopefully change your attitude and widen your perspective about what a mental game really is. So it's really pretty funny to me. When I go into clubhouses or locker rooms uh, at golf tournaments, it's always interesting to hear players talking about their mental game. I'll hear things like, geez, my mental game wasn't very good today, or I really need to work on my mental game. It's really letting me down, things like that. I hear these kinds of things all the time. And when people contact me, they're also using phrases like that. And I understand it because that's the phrase that's socially accepted. That's the way we've been ingrained to think about it and talk about it and so on and so forth. So I, I understand why people use it. But here's the thing. When, in my opinion, when golfers use the phrase mental game, they're basically cutting out the majority of what's really important. And I'm going to prove to you in this tip today that the mental game is 100% of your game. And every time I say that, there's always somebody around or in the room, because I say this a lot when I, when I travel to do presentations. I will stand up there and I'll say, the mental game is 100% of your game. How many people agree? And literally only 10% of the hands will go up. And most people will just kind of look at me with a frown, you know, that old, you got to be kidding me kind of a look. What are you, crazy? Well, actually, I'm not. But here's the deal, and I'm going to prove it to you right here today. The mental game. As I teach it, that's the only caveat I guess I can throw out there. The mental game as I teach it has four components to it. I call those four components your power tools. Only four components, and they're not rocket science, folks. They're just not rocket science. The four components are your mind, your body, your emotions, and your energy. Those are the four components that make up the mental game as I teach it, which is why I don't talk about it as a mental game. Now, if you look at those four components, it includes everything. The mind, that's where everything is happening. The body, that's everything physical. Your mechanics, your swing, all the things you work on at the range, it's all there. That's the physical component. The emotions, which you're all familiar with, as you know, driving you crazy sometimes, your anger, your frustration, your joy, your sadness, whatever it is, emotion, a huge factor. And then your energy. What kind of energy are you bringing to the golf course? Is it smooth? Is it flowing energy? Is it blocked energy? Is it stuck energy? Energy is always there for you on the golf course when you're playing. Now, those are the four components, but that's not the proof. I'm just giving you the components of the mental game as I teach it. Here's the proof. It's very simple. Every time you put your hands on the golf club, all four of those elements are in play. I dare you to find a time when that's not true. Now, as you may have guessed, I have worked with some pretty large egos over the years, and some of those large egos will say to me, Okay, man, I, I don't believe that. I'm, I'm going to find a time when that's not true. And I start laughing, and I just tell them to go ahead if they want. I wouldn't waste my time if I was you. But if you want to go try, try. 
I've been doing this for 25 years. Not one person has ever come back to me and showed me proof of otherwise. It's not going to happen. You won't do it either. So that's my dare to you. Go ahead and try to find a time when that's not true. You cannot separate those four elements, your mind, your body, your emotions, and your energy. You cannot separate them. Now, I understand there are a lot of golfers out there who are very intellectual. Golf is an intellectual game. And there's a lot of people who use that left brain, that real intellectual side of their mind that to try to control everything. And unfortunately, a lot of those golfers don't realize that that's actually what's getting in their way. But I'm not getting into that now. So the intellectual golfer has a hard time understanding that the mental game could actually be 100% of their game. But if you can start getting away and separate yourself from that phrase, mental game, because that phrase is what's locking you in. It's got the word mental in it. So you think of just the mind, mental, 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 mind, mind, mind. It's not just that. It's an important part of it, but it's not just that. The mind, the body, the emotions, and the energy. And I promise you, every time you put your hands on the golf club, all four of those elements are in play. So the real question is, are they in alignment for you? Are they in balance? And for most golfers, the answer is no. They're using one of those elements far more than they're using the other ones. The, uh, most golfers are using their minds much more than their emotion, their body, and their energy. At least that's what they're aware of. So if you're using one of them more than the, any of the others, you're out of balance. And it will be easy to explain why you're not playing up to your potential, why you're not being consistent why things seem to be working sometimes and not others. It's because in those times that they're working, you are in balance. And now let me say a word about the zone real quick. A lot of players will call me up and say, hey, Dave, I wanna be in the zone more. And of course the zone, in my opinion, is nothing more than those four elements working together. Your mind, your body, your emotions, and your energy are in alignment. And when they're in alignment and they're not being blocked by anything, meaning negative thoughts, poor memories, lousy self-talk, uh, emotional outbursts or emotional frustrations, all those things will block the alignment of those four elements working together. You're just like a race car. When those elite parts in that race car are not functioning together very well, that car underperforms. And it's not that the parts aren't good. The parts are great. They're still elite parts. The car is just underperforming. It's exactly what's happening to you. Your elite parts are great. Your mind, your body, your emotions, and your energy are great. And if you allow them to work at maximum level, you will be in alignment. That's what the Wired to Win program focuses on. That's why I don't spend a lot of time giving silly tips and silly strategies that completely bypass the alignment of these four components because once they're in alignment you're ready to go and you can self-correct anytime you want so what i'm really wanting you to do today in today's tip is to just take a moment and consider this is an attitudinal shift i'm asking you to consider i'm not giving you a specific thing to think about or talk about or do i'm asking you to sit down for a moment and make this attitudinal shift about what you think a mental game is. Because when I travel across the country, when I ask the question, how much of your game do you think is mental? The average answer I get is at least 75%. 75%. I get anything from 10% to 90%. And that's when I throw in, hey, hey folks, it's 100%. And that's when I get the looks on the faces. But I can prove it. And when I prove it, they're usually kind of looking at me like, oh, I never thought of it that way. So I'm asking you to really consider this. Your so-called mental game is much more than that. It is your game. It's not part of your game. It is your game. It's not like a seven iron is part of your set of golf clubs. You're, you're, the seven iron is not your set of golf clubs, but your mental game is your game as I teach it. Your mind, your body, your emotions, and your energy. And think about it, when they're in alignment, those are the days that, or those are the, the streaks or the holes or the days that you've played some really great golf. 
I promise you, if that was happening, those four elements were in alignment. You just probably never thought about it that way. But that's what had to happen in order for you to have that experience. And then when you're having the opposite experience, those four elements are out of alignment. You're out of balance. You're out of balance. And that's why you're experiencing all these very common negative things that golfers talk about. So that's the tip for today. Please take a look at the phrase mental game and broaden your perspective to see that it's much broader than most people talk about and most people write about. Look at all the video tips on, on Google or on the internet, all these things, mental game, mental game, mental game, mental game. And I understand people are doing that because that's the phrase that's accepted. Those are the keywords that people are gonna type in. I get it. But in reality, the phrase mental game is far too restricting, in my opinion. So the mental game, much broader than you think it is, it's impacting and controlling and governing what you do on the golf course far more than you, you give it its credence. So Dave Breslow, I hope you enjoyed today's tip. And as always, please visit me at www.mentalgolfcoaching.com to learn more about me and to learn more about Wired to Win. And of course, leave a message in cyberspace here, wherever you're listening to this tip, leave a message and I will be sure to get back to you in response. So Dave Breslow, thank you for being here and taking some time. And I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon. Take care.